Whoa, Max, that's a boatload of magazines. The Sega 12 is an AK-47 shotgun. We're going to do a review of the magazines that go in it today on Max Hits Base 9mm. First up is the magazine that comes with the shotgun. This is a five round Russian made magazine. I like to call it Ivan. It is an absolutely flawless magazine. It has metal inside uh, to keep it from wearing or snapping in cold weather. I have never had one issue with this magazine. It runs flawlessly so far. This is Igor, Ivan's big brother. Made by the same people that made the five round version. This is a Russian made magazine. It has steel inside of the uh, locking lug and it is a very durable magazine. Easy to load and um, will probably outlast your gun. They are very expensive though, if you can afford them. A good investment. Here in America, we do things different. C-Specs is a company that makes a steel version of the Sega 12 mag, the only ones that I know of. This thing is ridiculously strong. If you run out of ammo, you can pull this out and use it as a melee weapon. This ridge in the back can be sharpened for extra knife cutting capacity. These are less expensive than the Russian alternative, but they seem to work just as well and they look incredibly good having a steel magazine in a steel gun. Don't you think so? Loading these mags is not hard. You just push the shells in one at a time, pushing down with your finger, just like that. If those two mags and eight rounds aren't big enough for you, SGM Tactical makes a 12 round banana stick. This thing is a really good feeding magazine. It won't last as long as the steel American mag by C-Spec or the Russian magazine, but it is a very good reliable magazine for people who aren't going to put huge numbers of rounds through them. Promeg makes a 12 round mini drum. It's compact, easy to load, and kind of cool looking. Looks very appropriate in the gun. And I've never had a problem with it yet. You gotta be careful with Promeg. They also make a 10 round version that's exactly the same in every way, except you gotta look real careful for the fine print on the front here. Who wants 10 rounds when you could have 12? This is the MD Arms 20 round drop. 20 rounds is a lot. It's pretty awesome. It's kind of heavy. It's very well built. Most competitors in competitive shooting use these. Uh, because of their capacity and you don't have to change bags as much. They're incredibly durable. They offer you multiple backs, including smoke, opaque, and clear. And if you bust them, don't worry, they'll make more. If you need to take it apart, you just pull this little pin and the whole thing comes out. You unscrew these screws and it's very easy to open it up. This is a great mag. It always works and it'll work for a really long time. In the arms, 20 round drum! Yeah! This is the Pro Mag 20 round alternative to the MD Arms 20. It's the same size, roughly the same weight. It has some features that are nice about it. It's actually a little cheaper. Generally, you save about 20 or 30 bucks by buying this product instead. But it generally does not last as long. 
Uh, when you want to take the cover off, if you want to take the cover off for cleaning, you unscrew this bolt, and then you put a screwdriver under these tabs to lift them over these little notches right here. Well, eventually these break, and then you have to go back to them and ask for another uh, lid. Uh, it does come with this nice system to take the uh, tension off of the spring while you push the shells in. But I don't actually need that on the uh, MD Arms drum because for some reason it's much smoother inside. This is a necessity. So if you don't shoot a ton, this is a very good magazine. If you shoot a lot, this one will wear out quicker or get damaged sooner. But it feeds well and it has been perfectly reliable for me. One thing you need to know about buying any magazine that is not Russian for the Sega 12, they make them oversized. So you have to file the front of the magazine. They will not generally fit most Sega 12s. The nice thing about custom fitting these to the gun is you get a really nice lockup every time. If they make it sloppy, then you basically have something that rattles and moves around. So you get to customize this for your gun, which I think is really great. It takes me about a minute and a half each time to file this. For some people it'll take more, some less. It depends on how tight the magwell is on your safe. This old toilet is a water waster. It's bad for the environment. We're gonna send it back into the earth where it belongs. This is Max Ed's base 9mm saying, reduce, reuse, recycle. There's no toilet left. It's, it looks like white paint. <laughs> Just another day's work for the Sega 12. Oh yeah. That's a hundred rounds, zero malfunctions of any kind. Get you one.